that is uh, All right. kind of uh, on the ground here. Unbelievable. Then that's the first shot we've been able to get close to the scene on the ground. You can see complete chaos. We've got right now Jeremy Fox on the line. He is an eyewitness. He lives in the vicinity. Jeremy, can you hear us? I can hear you. Tell me what you're seeing right now. The, everything is white outside my window. What happened, I saw the second building blow and it the, just crumbled down and I saw the core of the building slowly crush to the ground, fall to the ground. My, out my window now, I can see nothing. Everything is white. What I saw before was people running in front of the hospital, running all over on the streets, running away from, from the west side, because I live on the east side, close to the FDR. I, everything outside is pure white. You can't see a thing. I live across the yard from me, about 100 yards is another building. I can't see two feet in front of me. I had to close my windows because it's so smoky down here. What are the people around you saying? What's the reaction around you in that neighborhood? Pure horror, it seems like. It seems like people are running away for their lives. Like, they don't know what's going on. Pure confusion. I, I myself, I don't know. I live so close. I'm like, I can't imagine what just happened. I'm like, it's where just, do you live, Jeremy, for the folks who are just tuning in? I live in. on Gold Street, right across from the Beekman right. Hospital, where they're taking all the patients. Jeremy, I saw them bring all the, a lot of patients in before. J Jeremy, obviously, can you please tell us, I mean, we were watching the second ta the tower go down. Can you please describe to us, on the ground, w w what did that look like? I'm not on the ground. I'm on the 26th floor of a building across the way. Right now, you can see nothing outside. When it, when it went off the second building, it... You saw an explosion, and then you just saw the, a humongous cloud of smoke go up, and you saw the building start to fall down, and then you saw the core of the building just start to disintegrate into itself. There's ashes on my terrace everywhere. You can't see a thing. The smell is horrible. They smell smoke everywhere. Did it, did it look like an implosion that internally, was it, was it that the, when the plane crashed, I mean, was there another explosion it inside like that vicinity of that area, almost like a... I, it we're looks speculating like here, explosion. possibly a, a bomb? I couldn't, it, it, the second building, the, both buildings were just burning and like they're constantly burning. And then right below the left building, the one without the news tower, the, the satellite tower, it just looked like an explosion below the, uh, below the, the, where it was burning, and then it just came down. All right, Jeremy, you were telling us before that you saw the ambulances going to the hospital. Describe yes. what that was like. It was hor horrific. They had... There were men in, you know, they had beds lined up outside the emergency room waiting for patients. They were bringing them in cars, not in ambulances anymore, um, as well as ambulances. They were people coming in on stretchers. They just looked, you know, shaken and horrible. I mean, I'm on the 26th floor and I looked at it. Now you purely, you cannot see two inches in front of your face if you're on the street right now. People downstairs must be in the house. In pure havoc. I mean, you can't see anything outside. Jeremy, you must be fearing for your own life at this point. You're so close I, to it. I'm very nervous. I, I'm not happy about you know like this at all. I'm scared for everyone around and involved. I can't imagine what the destruction that just caused for people. I'm very nervous. My everyone in my family, as you can hear, my phone is ringing, is calling to make sure I'm okay. I'm, I'm scared as could be. I'm you know. You were reporting also that you aren't being. You're not able to get any broadcast, is that right? No, no, I'm getting your broadcast right now. I'm getting the only channel that's not coming in is Channel 9. Um, every other channel is coming in. Uh, you're coming in on WB11, um, and you can see the smoke, and the, the right building is still burning. Jeremy, what's the first thing you saw earlier? The first thing I heard was I felt, it ex I felt a boom across, next to my window, and I, that woke me up and got me out of bed. And I went to, and I heard ambulances and cars coming, and I went to look out my window. And I was watching as, and I was on the phone with one of your news staff reporters, as the smoke is starting to clear, I'll walk out on my terrace. Hold on. Oh my God, there's debris everywhere. It's horrible. You can't see, there's white powder everywhere. Um, on my terrace, on the ground, everywhere. I, this is like a war zone, I assume. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Is it tough for you even to breathe? Now it is. I'm going back into my apartment. Right. Um, the second, then I was watching, and as I was watching, the plane must have come from the other side because I saw the second building blow. I saw it looked more like an outward explosion because the plane came from the other side, and I saw that pure explosion and took pictures of it. What, now there's another. There what was, was another going through your now. mind while you were doing all of this, Jeremy? The horror that people are going through right now, the families that are losing people right now, and the, there's another 